This is transcribing audio via Google Docs and voice typing. We use a variety of uh, devices uh, to, uh, to make this happen. You only need to use one. I'm giving you an example of four. An iPod, a new one, a digital recorder, a SanDisk MP3 player, and even in the back of my drawer I found an old Kobe uh, MP3 player. But these are the devices that you can use to help a kid with drafting and writing by recording and transcribing. So starting out, we also need a patch cable, a stereo patch cable, a combo headphone microphone jack, and a USB uh, headphone microphone uh, connection. The uh, stereo jack fits in the uh, in a Chromebook as well as uh, a, a Windows machine. So first you want to connect one end to the microphone in. So we're going to go from the headphone out to the microphone in on all of these devices. So headphone jack, plug that baby in. She's ready to roll. With our digital recorder we find the earphone jack, plug that in. And it's ready to go. Same with the SanDisk player. Now, there's really no miss because there's only one jack on most of those things. The uh, only strange one is the Kobe and what seemed to work for me was to actually have the the audio signal loop back uh, from the headphone jack uh, to the uh, microphone and have it play from the computer. Not the easiest way but uh, it does work and I have uh, made use of this over the years. So starting out, uh, we record what we want. Here's our digital recorder. And what I attempted to do was record the same option uh, on every recorder so that you'd actually see that it, I wasn't trying to pull something over your eyes. In preference, I would use a, a little larger device. Uh, this is about as small as I'd like to get. My, my fingers are large and I'm old, but that's the way it goes. I really like the iPod and I use voice typing on the iPod not to mention it's a great I'm sorry voice notes uh, it's a great camera uh, both, both video and still and uh, it records nicely it's got a great microphone so quality is good but they all seem to have a similar quality uh, when that happens moving on we'll I think uh, move to that sand disk player it too records most mp3 players if we're still going to use them have a recording option so it's something that you might want to consider in all of these you probably will want to minimize actually maximize the number of tracks a student might record on but you're going to have to play with it I haven't used it enough to find out where the end of the earth is on storage but uh, keep it in mind that when you have a student that uh, uh, needs to have some offline access for idea generation, there's nothing like recording, but then there's nothing like being able to record and then transcribe. And sometimes the situation is you don't have a computer, I'm sorry, or, or a Chromebook around, uh, but you've got ideas and, and they need to be written down. And uh, we can see that we're we're, we're moving from a $19 device to a $290 iPod and places in between. The next step that we need to take is to look at the sound recording capabilities that uh, are in your computer and it would be in the Windows uh, area now. Make sure that uh, you can right click on the speaker icon and look at recording devices. Make sure that you have the appropriate head headphone uh, option selected. You can see the, the level meters moving as, uh, as I speak and that's what you need. Sometimes it takes a little bit of experimentation. Don't get frustrated with it. It's something that just has to be done and, and, and to have this work right I think a student would be able to handle this uh, operation as well. So once that's done then we uh, go we have a Google Doc open and we go to tools from Google Docs and look at voice typing and there it is my favorite icon ever and so as we uh, see I've got a digital recorder up there or, or heading and I'm now going to send 
my information uh, from the digital recorder to uh, Google Docs. And this is happening in, in, in a little faster than it normally does, but I, I, to sit through all of it, I don't want anyone to go mad or, or be angry with me. Cause, uh, or of course, you could take a nap, I suppose. But proof that it really is working. Um, the dig digital recorder went through. The iPad is going through now. And uh, very shortly, we'll have the SanDisk uh, player transmitting its information. And uh, it, it really is a, an interesting possibility for helping students in that offline mode. And of course, those that we can't trust on the internet because there's just too many things for people to look at and such. So again, here's the uh, Kobe player. I've actually got to run this out of the, uh, the Windows Media Player. Uh, from the computer and so the signal is looping back and being transcribed through Google Docs. A little crazy but uh, I want to give you the uh, full advantage of the possibilities of how this is going to work for you. So there it is and, I, it, and that's as simple as it gets. Why this is important to you. We have kids that struggle with writing and we want to give them every advantage uh, we can we're going to utilize the power of Google and all of those cloud storage uh, uh, options available. Uh, we'll provide offline access for students needing support for writing. Again, it's ha useful for kids that can't handle the options and freedom of the Internet. We have older equipment. We can actually use it. You know, I'm going to look at video captioning later and see how that will help me. I can often extract uh, audio. If you make voice notes, if you talk to yourself, why not transcribe them? Give it a shot. Uh, thanks for watching. That's Transcription with Google Docs.